The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. I want to mention something here, folks. I posted this chart here of the, excuse my uh, my voice. I've I've got some type of an allergy here. I, I, I don't know. It's even worse than when I'm in, uh, in Tucson. I've never had any allergies up until the last couple of years, so I don't know if it's a function of old age or what. But uh, when I start to talk, it... Uh, I believe me, I'm not in any pain. It's just that my voice is raspy. And uh, I had this trouble when Frank and Dean and I used to sing over in Las Vegas. But uh, that was when a different lifetime and I was dreaming about that. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about these uh, markets that we have going on here. I posted that chart of the Dow Jones Industrial yesterday about where the market was supposed to be. Now, last night, uh, right after the markets reopened at 3 o'clock, I saw the market totally collapse. And so... I got interested in trying to pick a bottom. Now, folks, uh, I don't get frustrated trading too often, but yesterday, I frankly did. I I did probably more uh, intraday trading between three o'clock in the afternoon, or six o'clock to to nine o'clock New York time than I ever do. And I was trying to fish for a bottom in the uh, Nasdaq because it it, it made the pattern. Uh, almost exactly down there, right below 4,900. But uh, and I was able to do it, but I made several mistakes. Uh, I don't know if, uh, and I I'm going to tell you this because you know you make mistakes and I make mistakes, and what we have to do is we've got to recognize these because it's important. Because if you don't, you're going to remake those same mistakes. So I'm going to get into a really nice position in the Nasdaq. The market moved about 40 handles in my favor, which is $800, okay? So I put my stop at break even. Okay, I went to get a glass of water. When I came back, I was out again, break even. Market went a little bit lower. I tried it again. Bought it again the second time. Had about 40 handles in that. Well, not quite 40, about 30 handles in that one. And by the time I blinked my eye, it was back down to the lows again. Anyway, I tried it five times in a row. And I had, uh, I think I had four uh, break-evens and a small winner out of those five trades. So I decided, well, I better rest up and wait and see what's going to happen here later in the evening. So at around 10 o'clock, I went back and to start look at the markets again. It took a little bit of a break. And uh, when I saw a nice pattern show up, I Again, I bought the NASDAQ again. You, I don't usually trade the NASDAQ be, because it was trading so beautifully. I said, well, let's just give it a try. Anyway, what happened was I ended up uh, breaking even on that one. After seven trades, I had virtually nothing to show for it of what I was looking at. Now, the easy trade was what we were talking about yesterday is to sell the gold if it rallies up to, you know, the 382 retracement at 1932. It's now trading at 1916. Folks, I mean, we're way below uh, 200, uh, $1,900 $1, an ounce in spot gold. Remember, that's August. So we're, we're hitting lower. It looks like we've got another $100 to go looking at that long-term weekly. So I'm telling you about the airs because some people have asked me, what do I do about airs? I shake them off. You know, I don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. So all I do is I just keep trading. Yeah, sure, I trade a lot sometimes, but, you know, when it all comes out, you know, I'm going to be right X number of times. I'm going to make X number of dollars more than I lose, and that's all I really care I'm not I'm not a, a rocket scientist trying to you know guess these guys on Wall Street with the algorithms and stuff. I know how those algorithms work because they're based on these numbers that we use here at TFNN. If you don't believe it, you see where these markets turn from. Last night in the Nasdaq, with that big rally, it rallied uh, almost. It did. It rallied 110 points. It went from. Uh, uh, 18, uh, let me see, 48, uh, 4880 all the way up to 115, 
13. 115 13 was a 382 retracement of the previous day's high. And then down to go, of course, I didn't have data when that was going on. I figured it out afterwards, but that's that's what had happened. Then it broke and made new lows. Folks, when the market's acting like this one is in the stock market, and you know, some of them are up, some of them are down, but by guys, what you're looking for here is you're looking for patterns, and I don't care whether it's a 15-minute chart, an hourly chart, or whatever. And you can do whatever you like. I like trading 15, 30 minutes. I look at four-hour charts because it gives me six weeks of data to look at. And I'm trying to find nice patterns. And we find some nice ones. Do we take losses? Absolutely. But by golly, sometimes we take some really nice ones. And that's what's really important. And it's just not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. I, I focus I focus probably 90% of my time on how not to uh, give money away. I still give some away, but that's okay. I'm, I'm willing to do that. But I focus on what I really need to do, and that's take care of business and make sure I never get into a situation where I've got to risk, you know, lots and lots of money because I, have you know, stupid and didn't get out of a position or added to losers. I did all that back in 1974. I learned my lesson since that time. And, you know, I, you know, the dumbest thing you can do in all this business, you could trade without a stop. Yeah, that's okay. you got to have a place where you're going to have to get out anyway. But the dumbest thing you can do is add to a losing position. I mean, that is, I've always said to myself, if I ever do it, it's lights out. I go over to the wall, click on the switch, and I'm going to be done because I frankly don't really want to go through that again. And I won't because it's stupid. Stop and think, folks. I'm going to repeat this because it's worth repeating. You're adding to a position that's already losing, so you're increasing your risk, risk exposure. But the most important thing, okay, you're ready for this? Your analysis is wrong. Hello, operator. I mean, that's just not working, boys and girls. So what you got to do is you've got to just focus on what you need to do and get it done and keep it as simple as possible. If I had to do something that was really complex, I'd really be in dire straits. Uh, I probably could do it, but I certainly wouldn't have any fun. What I do now, I have fun doing this. I was with my daughter, and you know, she was she likes to trade too, and uh, she was saying, you know, Dad, why don't people do this more often? And I and I told her, I said they don't want to do the work. They don't want the, both the mental and the physical work that's necessary, you know, to get the job done. That that's really what it's all about. And she said, yeah, she said, I can, I can certainly understand that. And that is the reason, because people just don't, you know, look at the markets every day and try to understand what they're doing. And, you know, and that here again, you go back to the case that, you know, you, you're not going to make money all the time. OK, the reason why I'm talking so much is because I can't post any charts. I had some beautiful charts that I was going to show uh, yesterday afternoon. I went and looked at all of the the uh, mega stocks. And they're, they're major bottoms here, folks. If these things start failing from here, there's trouble in River City. I mean, big time trouble because, you know, the news is, uh, yeah, of course, everybody's bullish or supposedly are. But, you know, uh, this means that there's something different going on that, than, than someone might think. Because if these markets don't hold right in here and they went way below where they should have to start off with with yesterday's action on the downside and then again re reversing today. Of course, they bounce up a little bit, but these are just dead cat bounces now. We're, we're looking at a situation where we got some bearishness staring us right in the face if this thing doesn't hold up here. And I think it's important you've got to pay attention to that. It'd be good for your mental and uh, financial health. So we're going to take a break Steve here. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educate.
Educating Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating Investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. So we have a caller today, Jeff from Philadelphia is on the line. Jeff, what can I do for you? Uh, hi, Larry. Um, I'd like to uh, challenge you a little bit on how you're trading a 382 pattern. Sure. Uh, but before, okay. <laughs> but before I do, let me just say that um, you you are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my trading life. You completely uh, improved my trading with the patterns in your trade what you see book and uh, all the information that you provide on your show and and the support that that you provide have completely redefined the way that I trade and I'm so much better now I, I just have total respect for for you uh, in excuse me you know for as far as trading and you know also uh, personally I'm a big fan so thank you very much here, I don't forget challenge. to tell the people tell the people about how I walk on water and stuff like that too I think they'd like to know that <laughs> well that I'm I don't I don't I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking with us. you Jeff <laughs> I have a hard time accepting compliments. Uh, it's a father issue from 80-some uh, years ago. Please continue. Let's go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. So on the 382, um, I, I understand, you know, the, the principles of, of trading the 382 is they get a ABC that uh, terminates around the 382 or so. And you have, uh, you know, if the, if the price turns around and heads down, it really didn't make much progress. It shows weakness. You also have the pressure of from an ABCD terminating, that provides pressure. So you figure that the uh, target uh, is going to be down below uh, the X point or, you know, the, the bottom of the swing. So that makes sense to me. And then you want to give a little bit of room over to 382. So I can see putting the stop at the 50% level. But, right above, uh, right above the 50%. Should be the stop should be, it should be right above the fifty percent level, and that'll depend on how wild the market is, because maybe that maybe that distance is too much for your risk. Then you have to, you know, use your own judgment on how much you have to risk. In other words, the distance between the fifty percent and the three eight two might be twelve hundred dollars. Well, you can't. You know, I would never use a twelve hundred. Right. Well, I ordinarily would never okay, use but, a twelve hundred dollar stop. So this is what I want to. Uh, argue with you <laughs> okay <laughs> about, is that um the way i've been trade the way i see it 
is that once price hits the 50 percent or over, I should say, like once it is over 50 percent, I think like before you were trading a 382 pattern, right, before you were talking about that, if I said I got an ABCD into the 50 percent FIB level, where do you think the target would be? I would expect you to say the 618 of the distance back to the bottom of the pattern, right? The 618 of the AB this is, this is correct. Uh, yes. range, right? So that, but then I see you putting the stop over the 50% level. Well, the target for the 382 pattern is, uh, you know, the minus 272%, well below the X point. So I think uh, the way I've been trading the 382 is, once price hits that 50, I'm like maybe two ticks at most over the 50. Because once it gets past that, it's like, okay, well, now the target should be 0.618 of the AD range, not the minus 272 all the way down, because you're not really showing weakness anymore. You hit the 50%, that's not uncommon. The 382 to hit that and turn around and go down, you know, maybe that's more uncommon. Or to say, you know, that shows weakness. But by the time you hit the over the 50, you're not really showing weakness anymore. So uh, I think, like, I, I put my stops m much closer to the 50 than I see, see you doing sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's, two reasons for that is I don't watch the machine very often. And the second thing, those risk parameters are within the context of how much I'm willing to risk. It's always under $1,000. So... That's certainly acceptable. What I'm going to do, Jeff, I'm going to make a video for you. I have your email address, and I'm going to make a video showing you the three that were most important, uh, 382s that we had today. I mean, they're, they're very wild and very crazy, but they were just absolutely perfect spot on, and I just wanted to – I'll share those with you, and I'll drop that to you. The one thing that you've got to realize now, when you're doing a 382, there are two things that you really need to do, and that is look at a strong trending market. Because that's that's where the ball game is. You want to trade those that are in strong trending markets, and so that's why the 382 is so very important. Because you know, at that point, you do not have to risk very much. In fact, if it goes much beyond the 382 by more than three or four hundred dollars, I just you know, I mean, I'm lost. I just get out of it and you know say, well, that one didn't work. But they're going to work better than six out of ten. I'm, I'm watching them every day. They had three monsters today. Unfortunately, I didn't have data to see one of them, but the other. Two, I was able to get, but uh, that was uh, that's the name of the game anyway. Right, well, let me check on something. I'm assuming I didn't. I should say I'm assuming that when you uh, trade the three eight two, that you're putting your uh, target, or you want to hold on to that position until it gets down to the minus a two seven two or so. Is that? Right? I don't know what you mean by minus two seven two. What do you mean by that? Oh, I mean uh, so if it bounces off. If it makes a swing low and goes up to a 382 retracement, that would be like a positive uh, mm -hmm. percentage, 38.2%. Uh, yes. But if it bounces off the 382 or so and starts hitting south again, and then it goes below the previous swing low and keeps going, uh, the next you know FIB level would be uh, uh, about 272, right? You could call it 1.272 or minus... Oh, you mean the expansion of 1.27? Yes, yeah. yes, that, that could certainly be it, yes. that That's, in fact, what right, happened today good. in the NASDAQ and uh, in the uh, crude oil. So it was uh, – and, oh, and soybeans, too. There were three of them yeah. that were, were moving in that direction. So, yeah, that's correct. So so during the initial retrace, it goes up past – you know, gets a 3.2 and continues up past um, 50 percent. If it gets much past – 50 percent yeah you're, it's over yeah the, you're done yeah, yeah yeah no, I'm done. I, that, no that, then you're talking about two different things it's 382 you got to exactly. trade the 382 like a 382 so don't worry about 618 you know you exactly. start, everything well, is based on ab yeah okay <laughs> yeah that, that's my point exactly it's like once it gets over the 50 well it's no longer a 382 trade now yeah, you're in a regular Gartley yeah, yeah. uh type well, pattern so uh, I'm, I'm arguing that i think the stop should be very very close to the 50 percent retrace like maybe just a little okay. tiny bit over that, it, but not much over it that, that's that you have my personal uh opi opinion here that you can do whatever you like because it's your money <laughs> no really i'm telling you because if that's what you're comfortable with then do it you know what i mean 
Well, I just so, think it's like logical, you know. Like, so I can start, like I can ask this question completely differently. Is that when you're looking at a three eight two setup, at what point do you say this is no longer a three eight two setup? It's now a Gartley pattern. Uh, no, see, no, 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 no. The 382 has nothing to do with the Gartley because the 382 doesn't have anything to do with ABCDs or Fibonacci or anything other than the 382 itself. So it's a standalone thing. You don't worry about you think it's going to be a Gartley or expansion or anything like that. It's a 382 and that's it. You see, and usually on a 382, there might not, might not even be a pattern there other than the number. So you have to rely on that number. Right. Oh, oh, we got to pay okay, a few bills. Well, I appreciate your feedback. Are we still, Thank you. Are we still, are we still going to be friends? <laughs> More than and friends. I'll, I'll get that $25 <laughs> out to you just as soon as the horse in the fifth race at Saratoga comes through today for me. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, Jeff. You bet. You bet. Take care. Okay, we're going to take a break here. Mike Moore, Moore Analytics will be up next, folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back. We have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics as our guest today. Mike, um, are you there? Yes, sir. How are you? Larry? Good. I am good. I want to thank you because you were on about uh, last week. Uh, I think it was on a – I think it was – must have been Thursday. I think it was whenever it was you were on last week. You were talking about how that the, uh, uh, the heating oil and the gasoline were leading the markets and the crude right. oil was, was lagging behind. 
Now, all, all what I did is I, I went and looked at those charts, and I saw uh, that the crude oil was lagging so badly that, I mean, right. it was it should have been at like 88 or $89 dollars. Uh, a barrel and it wasn't you were bringing that to my attention i said what the hell that that that's a sign of weakness and it turned out i got lucky on that one but it was that the right thinking well it just means that if you're long you would have been rather been long the heat and the, in fact i think the next day the heating oil crack was bullish and the heat rallied thirty five hundred dollars more contract than the crude crude oil did wow yeah in I fact yesterday at one that, point that, the uh and then it switched to unleaded gas being long the, uh, the strong one instead of heat. And then that rallied yesterday where the heat was actually negative. So they can switch day by day, but it, it, it makes a massive impact on your, uh, on your revenue stream oh, yeah, throughout the year if you're switching to based on what the spreads are telling you. You have proven it to me beyond any shadow of a doubt, my friend. So uh -huh. tell us what you're looking at today. Okay. Um, so you want, what do you want to start with, crude or natural gas? Or you, I start out. Let's do the crude, and then uh, the heating oil, and then the uh, RBOB, and then we'll do the natural gas, and then we'll move on to some of the other things uh, a little later. But go ahead and uh, tell the folks okay. where where you think we are as far as resistance support and the crude and stuff like that. Okay, so crude. Um, first of all, when anybody, when any, whenever anybody looks at all this. This is not something that you have to read through every day as, as a client of mine. When you see this when you see this sentence right there, it says these are on hold. That means these are place setters, <laughs> placeholders for all these larger time frame calls. Um, these were just taken off hold uh, because the, the market turned bearish the other day. And then these are all on hold. And then the only ones we're really concerning ourselves with are the last couple sentences. So I said I warned of exhaustion at 84.17 to 74. We held this with an 84.89 high, and we've rolled over five dollars and 94 cents. Um, and then the trade below 82.68 plus two ticks per hour, which I think was the line that we were looking at last time we talked. Um, that those were, that was this this increasing line right here. We took that out and we rolled over since then. Uh, give me a second. And we'd rolled over to the tune of three dollars and seventy-three cents. And then I said this morning, decent trade above eighty forty plus point five of a tick per hour. Let me just double check if that was a decent trade. So I just got back to my computer here. Um, just bear with me one minute. Yeah, so a decent penetration with sixty-six ticks, and. Before just a second here, I'm just calculating something. Six ticks is sixty-six. Yep. So we got a decent penetration above that line. So now it's bullish again. Um, we're pulling right back down to the line towards a stop. So there would be a decent stop below here. That would be uh, sixty-two ticks below. Oh no, excuse me. The decent penetration was sixty-five ticks. Bear with me again. I think I got this off. T4, 65 would be, yeah, no, that's a that's a decent penetration above, and the stop would be 65 ticks below, 80.42. Did uh, that make sense or no? So we, so we basically, we got, we held this exhaustion level that we talked about, I think, in the last show. Right here with the um, 84.89 high, we rolled over here. We took out this line, which was bearish. to got multiple lines here, which was bearish. But now we've just broken back above this line, which turns it back to bullish and it's pulling back. So I would remain bullish uh, with the 65 tick stop below here. If it takes that out, then this will probably roll back over again. Okay. And then the RBOB or the unleaded gasoline. Uh, we've got a bearish engulfment going on right now of the previous day's high and low. Um, this also had rolled over into a lower time frame bearish correction against this move up. I warned of exhaustion here at this uh, blue line at 281.73. Give me a second. I'll, I'll pull some perspective here. So I said uh, we were in a bearish correction or trend against the move up from 271.31. Decent trade below 284.82. Um, should bring in decent pressure. 
And I warned of a range expansion yesterday. Yesterday we saw the 116% expansion in range. And then I said I would caution of two possible exhaustion levels, one at 281.73 to 088, and then a lower one. And we just held this, this lower one right here. You can see that at 281.73. We held that with a 281.92 low, and we bounced a bit. So the question is, what are we going to do right here? If we take this formation out right here decently on the downside, then that's going to warrant renewed pressure. Um, and that comes in at 248.48 as of 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that increases five ticks per hour. So decent trade below there should bring in decent pressure. Give me one second. And then the heating oil. I would note that the heating, the heating oil and the gas oil was your heads up this morning that there was something, uh, something wrong with the complex on the downside. The heating oil right now has a maintained gap higher. But the key in here is that we had rolled over from the multiple levels and we broke above that steep line we talked about the other day, I believe. And so we're just seeing strength coming coming from above there as well. And if we take out this further line above, that's going to warrant of additional strength. That line above is going to come in at 312.57, 312.58 actually. 312.58 plus 10 ticks per hour. Um and the trade above 301.84 minus 18 ticks per hour is, is already bringing in the strength. That's where that lower line comes in. We leave that maintain gap higher in place today. That's bullish for the heat. And then take a look at the Brent. Do you want to look at the Brent too? Or? Yeah, I, I don't follow. Can tell the folks the difference between the Brent and the WTI? Because I, I've, all, I've always only traded WTI. I've never... I've seen a few charts, of course, on the Brent, but it, is it? It's it used to be a premium uh, on that. Is it still sells at a premium? Yeah. So, well, I can just show you right now. There's a spread here. Let me see where I got it. So right now that spread is at negative uh, 429. So it's a $4.29 spread. That's why right now, if you look at Brent, Brent is trading at 84.20. Okay. And WTI we got to pay is trading at 80.45. Yeah. Got to pay a few bills, Mike. So stay with us. Okay. And we'll be right back. Okay. Sounds Mike good. Moore of More Analytics, folks. Right out of Tennessee. Black. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. All right, folks, we're still talking with Mike Moore, more analytics. Please continue, Mike. Thank you, Larry. Can you still, can you still see the screen share? Yes, yes. They tell okay. me everything is running good, so I think it's okay. So we were just talking about the difference between the Brent and the WTI, and there's a pricing difference because the Brent is in, you know, the North Sea by um, England, and the WTI is down here, obviously, off Texas. So there's a pricing difference there in the transportation of the oil. And currently, it's a little over $4. That's why there's a spread between the Brent and WTI. But I wanted to bring up the Brent here because in the Brent Sea, that's where a lot of the oil's from up there. So anyway, the um, in the Brent here, uh, I said, no, we're hold, currently holding possible exhaustion at 87.69 at 823 with an 88.10 high and rolled over $3.81. And we saw a piece more of that today. We also took out these two lines here, which also projects it lower. But the bigger call here was when we broke above 82.33, which I said projected to upward $13.90. So we've seen 577 of that so far. That was the break above this line right here. We traveled up, but when we held this exhaustion in this in this rectangle right here, now we're seeing a bearish correction against this move up. So the question is, are we going to finish out this bearish correction and then start a whole new bull structure, which would be needed to attain the $13.90 objective of which we've only seen 577 so far? Or is this gonna break down below this main formation that we broke above and then this would get uglier on the downside? And that line right now comes in at 81.77. And this is a, a, a higher line that would also be bearish, but it's not as well formed a formation. But nonetheless, that comes in at 82.77 uh, plus one tick per hour. And then finally, the gas oil, which is also a heads up. Uh, that's gapping open higher today. If that gap remains in place, that would be bullish. I did a uh, warn of range expansion today in there. Uh, and that broke above the steep line that we talked about the other day, I believe. Broke above it here, pulled back down, pulled back down, and then we rallied, took out this other formation and rallied more. Actually, I think when last we talked, we got bearish because we, so we've broken below this line, pulled back up to it, and then rolled down a number of days, took out this other one, rolled over lower. But then when we broke back above this, that turned it to bullish, further bullish uh, above this. So bullish on it right now. Um but as far as the spreads are concerned, also the DST spread, which is a spread of the whole curve of the crude, that turned bearish the other day as well. That's really been coming off, seeing a lot of pressure from there. That was a warning in the complex that that might come off. And the RBOB to heat spread has really rolled over, meaning that the RBOB or unleaded gasoline is weak relative to the heat or the heat strong relative to the RBOB which obviously we're seeing just from those outrights we just took a look at. 
And I'll just take a look at the cracks real quick. So the cracks are bullish right the heating oil crack was was bearish from a breakdown in here and then turned to bullish today. And it looks like we're leaving a maintained gap higher. What does that mean? That means that the heat is strong relative to the crude, or the crude weak relative to the heat. And if we look at the RBOB crack, that had turned bearish from the break below this line, pulled up, pulled up, but still still is mainly bearish. So that means that the RBOB is weak relative to the crude. So that sets up your hierarchy there. You have the heat is your strongest, the crude in the middle, and the RBOB is the weakest. And real quick, if you look at a quote board, uh, you can see that uh, playing out here. The crude oil, the heating oil is up 854 ticks, and the RBOB is down 324 ticks, and the crude is wow. up a dollar fourteen. So here's what also another example Ever, of the Mike, extreme Mike, I've important. Got, What's that? I got a question. What does that tell you that one is so much weaker than the other? Is that telling you the demand, or is it just a, a function of where the supply is, or how how does that work? Both. It could be a demand of supply. You know. Higher demand for one, or or higher higher supply. I don't really deal so much on that supply okay, and demand okay. side of the equation, but that's Ten basically four. what it's what it's telling you. Okay. But the 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 question is pertinent because that's the underlying reason why these are flipped, right? Mm -hmm. But by the time you figure that out, it's already made the flip, and that's why I look at technicals and look at price action because price action. Okay will dictate to you earlier what that uh, that price flip is. Does that make sense? Makes great sense. It sure does. Okay. Um, and that's why, like, on, on the analysis, I had a plus right here next to the heat. That meant it should, should have been the strongest on the day. Mm -hmm. And the heat's up 855 ticks. Uh, okay. Okay, so did you want to take a look at the natural gas real quick? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's one of our favorites. Yep. So natural gas, if you remember, we had broken out of all this exhaustion here with this day. But then I said if we left a, on the day, it warned a pressure. And then I said if we left the gap open lower, that would leave a minor bearish reversal above. So we left that above. I'm not exactly sure where we left off last time. I'm um, saying right here, I warned an 8.9. This warned a pressure before if resuming higher trade and if they left the gap open lower. And close below 27.94, this would leave a minor bearish reversal above. I think that's where we left off last time we did a show. So we've come off 391 ticks so far from there. And I said we are likely now in a new lower time frame bearish structure that could last for days. <clears throat> so, hang on a second here. We had come off here, then we corrected against this minor formation right here we held exhaustion right there and then rolled over into a new bearish structure and this bearish structure took out this old line right here but we popped back above it today so that's kind of uh it's kind of mixed signals to be honest with you we had traded back up into this gap here came back off but immediately even though we've pulled back here i would be bullish right here because we broke back above this line decently so okay. we'll have to see if this rally's out of here or not But we did see a nice run here from the close here and the open here came off for at least uh, five days. Did you have any questions on the energies before I go to the financials? No, let's go to the financials. You do a great job. You really have helped a lot of folks here, Mike. So thank keep up the good work and uh, let's move on to the financials. Uh, they're having a little volatility over there these last few days. So yeah. what do you thinking? What do you think is okay. happening over there? Glad to hear it's been a help. So we're taking a look at the S&P here. Just as a backup, a caution of exhaustion here at 46.35 and a quarter. We held that with the 46.34, 50 high, and we rolled over 225. And then you can read about some of the rest of those in here. We also recently just broke back below this formation, which is bearish, held the lower formation. And now we're consolidating a little bit. <clears throat> I believe that we're in the last stretch of this move down. So there's exhaustion levels here. This main area is an exhaustion level. That comes in at um, 43.8850 to 43.70, uh, 43.7050. And then there's higher okay, time frame exhaustion levels that are lower in here at about 43.4875. 
Okay, let's uh, take a break here. We'll be right back with Mike Moore of More Analytics. We want to ask him about the uh, automated trading program that he's working with. We'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore, coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks. We're speaking with Mike Moore, more, more analytics. Mike, tell the folks about the automatic uh, trading program that you have. So we have one auto trading program that's trading right now. Um, unfortunately, it's in a bit of a drawdown over the past month to the tune of 7000 7, on a one lot, which would be obviously 7% on a $100,000 account. But it had a long run up for five months prior to that. So that's part of um, trading, part, <laughs> part of the game. But uh, also, we've had some, you know, a couple execution misses and stuff. And uh, hang on a second here. Well, sorry to forgot to turn my phone off. My apologies, everybody. Um, but also, we've just done an extensive study on it and uh, came up with some better parameters for it. So I'm very excited about that, which should massively increase its profitability. So that started rolling out today uh, and partially yesterday. So if anybody's interested, feel free to give us a call. Do you, you want to take a look at the uh, S&P? I know I'd like for you to tell the folks how they could reach you because you have had several questions about how the best way to uh, reach you. It's, you have a website, moreanalytics.com. Is that correct? Yep. Can you see and this? Is it large enough or no? Let's see. Okay. Let's see if, if anybody can see that. That's my website, moreanalytics.com. 
or you can email me at more analysis, not more analytics, but more analysis at gmail.com. You can call me on my phone. That's my Yankee phone number. Still got my New York City number, uh, 646-708-4612. And uh, if you want to do any the auto trade, you can call Bill Orlowski uh, right here at 847-234-1989. All right. We're going to have you on again next week because I want to ask you some more about the relationships that you watch because it was a very, very helpful for us here because it seemed that the crude oil was weakening because of that. So we'll have you on next week, my friend. So stay tuned and uh, be safe over there. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, everybody you else for watching. Hope you have a blessed day. You bet. We'll see you on Monday, folks. May God bless. <laughs> <laughs>